What's going on my dudes one step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Mortal Kombat 1 helping you get better today and get out there and start dominating your opponents. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content and let's get into this guide. Also go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we use so that everybody who's watching can understand what we're saying. So I'm going to keep it real with you guys. The first thing you're going to want to do is of course simply find a character. I've been a rated main since MK9 so my loyalty has gone nowhere and I am still a rated main but after playing all the characters I found that I really love. Geras, Sandel, Lee Mei. So that's the first thing I recommend is just play around with the characters because you'll never know who you actually like if you don't try them and go through their move list and just mess around with their strings, mess around their special moves, see what feels right, maybe see what combos you can come up with. It might surprise you what characters you click with and who you might end up maining. Now, once you found a character, I know that's dumb, but once you found a character, the next thing you want to do is look for the character's overheads and lows because that's how you can open your opponent up for combos and start from there. So, for an example here for Raiden, we have our overhead with our 4 3 4. That's an overhead. So, if our opponent is blocking low, meaning they're crouch blocking like this. So, you'll see here for an example, if our opponent's crouch blocking and we just like, we we can't do our lows, we can't do anything. We throw in the overhead option, that's gonna hit. Now we can do our combo. But vice versa, if we do that move and they're blocking high, it's not gonna hit, then we're gonna get punished. So make sure you watch that, but understand your character's overhead and lows, what's punishable, what you might not wanna throw out there. And with Raiden, for an example, we have our forward four, three, four combo. That's gonna be three lows in a row. So again, if our opponent is blocking high, we can throw that out there. Not only does Mortal Kombat have overhead and lows, but they also have things such as highs and mids. Now, what's the difference there? Neither one of those will hit overhead or low of course but the biggest thing you'll see is our highs if our opponent's crouching the high move won't actually hit our opponent it's just gonna go right over their head meaning if we start a combo with a high and we miss our opponent can then uppercut us and now we're punished but a mid that actually hits your crouching opponent. So you also want to go through your moveset and say, okay, what's a high, what's a mid? I like mids a lot because that actually will hit your opponent standing or crouching. So if they try to like crouch and uppercut you or punish you or get away from a grab, a mid will hit them and stop them right in their tracks. So lows and overheads, those are openers, but mids are kind of like a, a stopping point. Like, nope, you're not going to do anything here. It's going to sound so dumb, but I'm being dead serious here. You need to learn how to block. Because as soon as you learn how to block, then you know how to punish your opponent. Meaning if you block your opponent's string or their special move it's likely unsafe that's where you want to go and learn what moves are unsafe or safe and honestly a lot of that just comes with time unless you really want to sit down for hours and really go through all the characters and see their movesets see their frame data but for an example we're going to block Liu Kang's string here and then punish him and you'll see what you can do with a reversal like that So you see, we blocked our opponent's string and then we just went right in for the punish and we were able to get a really good combo off just from blocking. It's a fighting game, guys. I'm serious. Like the, there's so many people out there that just don't block and then get mad that they're losing. And it's like, if you would have just blocked that, you could have easily punished me. So that's not really my fault. You should have blocked that. So start blocking. It's a fighting game. You got to fight. You got to block. You got to grab. Especially if you see your opponent blocking a lot and they're calling your moves or calling the lows or calling the overheads and you just cannot get in there. Go for the grab. Like there have been so many instances where I've either won around and got out of the corner or got out of a bad situation just because I was grabbing. I'm not saying spam grab, but it's an amazing tool to get you out of certain situations and make your opponent not want to just start blocking like crazy. Then they try to be aggressive. Then they mess up. Boom, you block, boom, punish, boom, combo. Now with grabs, another thing you might want to learn is how to escape the grabs. And that's a bit tricky because in Mortal Kombat, we have two forms of grabs. We have our back grab and we have our forward grab. And unfortunately, there's no one button to escape out of a grab. It kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie to you, even I hate it, but you have to guess because it's gotta be so quick and how you do, how you escape the grabs. So on a normal grab, you gotta press forward and one or two to escape the grab. It can be hard to really get down. And then on a forward grab, you gotta press three or four forward to escape that grab. So it's hard to really get down. And, on, and again, it's very unfortunate. You gotta kind of guess, okay, I see they grab me and you gotta instantly decide, am I gonna press one or three typically to escape this grab? And that's escaping grabs. And even I'm still learning how to get better at doing that. But typically you'll see your opponent start to grab you a certain way, like forward or back most of the time and say, okay, they're doing a lot of back grabs. So chances are their next grab is gonna be a back grab. So I'll press one or two and forward during that I grab to escape it hopefully it's a guessing game but that's also fighting games you gotta guess overhead or low and whatever now i'm not gonna go over the entirety of how to do basic combos in mortal kombat i've already given a great tutorial in this video right here you're gonna see it there go click on that watch that how to do combos video and then come back and you know kind of start off right here so let's say you know how to do basic combos or you watch that video and you're back what's up once you know how to do basic combos you gotta start stringing all of these strategies together like doing your combos learning how when to block how and when to punish exactly 
exactly what's safe, what's not safe, when you might want to sprinkle in your grabs. You see how all these intricate details just come together to create a fighting game, but there's more. I've had a lot of people comment and ask me, how do I enhance special moves? We have special moves like down forward two here, and we can't really do much off of that by itself. But if you enhance it like this, like you use a meter, they pop them up for a combo extender and a lot of special moves are like that or they change their properties. Like for an example, our fly move here, when we do the enhance, we gain armor on it so we can go through a hit. Our down back three also changes properties when it's enhanced like this. See, that's a bit different. So the first thing you're gonna wanna see is kind of what properties change when you enhance a special move. Is it gonna be a pop-up of sorts? Does it just do more damage? Is it a completely different move? Things happen like that. So you wanna go through and see what your special moves are actually doing when enhanced. But how do you enhance a special move? So we have our block button, right? You have to press block and your input at the same exact time to enhance a special move. So honestly, you're kind of committing to the enhancement and say, okay, I'm either gonna hit this like in a combo or if they're blocking, you're just gonna throw it out there. You're hoping that it hits, right? But we have our down forward two combo here. If we want to enhance that, we press two and block at the same exact time. It'll be a down forward and then two and block at the same time like this. So there's no time difference. You don't, you don't press two and then block. You press them at the exact same time. And that's any special move. Down back three, if we want to enhance that, it's down back three plus block, different move. Keep in mind, most special moves use an entire meter of your meter down the bottom left corner. And some special moves when enhanced even use two. So you want to be aware of your resources, especially your bar. Kind of going back to the blocking segment here. It's not really about blocking, but about punishing your opponent because a lot of people just go free willy nilly and say, why am I not, what am I doing? Why can I, and it's like, dude, chill. Fighting games can be a bit more methodical, meaning you have to start reading your opponent and seeing their habits. If I was fighting you and I started to do this move a lot, that's an overhead and it's unsafe. You saw this kick, you're like, okay, well then the spinning kicks is coming next. That's an overhead. You're gonna wanna block high and then punish me when I miss. You see what I'm saying? Like no matter who you're fighting, they're gonna have certain habits, whether it be projectiles or teleporting, using their cameo, doing a lot of overheads, whatever it may be, you really have to adapt in the moment. And when someone says, read your opponent, that means guess, but it's a very educated guess, right? Like, okay, my opponent's doing a lot of this. So chances are they're gonna do that again. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna block high and then punish them. Like it's not really guessing. You're just more or less seeing their repeating habits. You know what I'm saying? Another thing you wanna get the hang of is wake up attack. For those that don't know what wake up attack is, when you are knocked down, you have the ability to wake up doing a special move. Meaning you're like coming off the ground into your special move. So it's just very quick kind of like this we can wake up down forward two and that's a wake up attack sure but every character has some form of an armored special move when enhanced and radiance for example is our back forward three enhanced that gains armor so it's a great wake up option so if our opponent is trying to pressure us while we're down we'll wake up with that attack gain armor go through a hit and then kind of reset the fight you know and here's how that might look so learn how to wake up with either a special move, an armored special move, or honestly, no wake up at all. Because once you start doing it over and over again, your opponent's gonna see that, bait out the wake up attack, so you do it, they're gonna block it, then punish you. So if you see your opponent reading you, then you gotta read them and not do a special attack wake up. See, there's just so many moving parts to a fighting game. It's a lot of in the moment decisions. A lot of micro decisions are happening in like the span of like 20 seconds, you know, it's crazy. Now, once you have learned slash mastered your character as a basic character, and you wanna level up your gameplay even more, that is where Mortal Kombat 1 is super unique and they have cameo fighters and you're gonna wanna mess around with all of them because there are so many amazing options and a lot of cameo fighters go better with other fighters in my opinion. Some cameos offer tools that benefit all characters. For an example, as a Raiden main, I actually enjoy using Scorpion because Raiden doesn't have a crazy amount of overheads and Scorpion offers an overhead attack. So I like the ability to have a mix up going for the low and then the overhead. I also enjoy the combo extension we get from Scorpion. And if I'm in a pickle, I can have the armored pullback full screen move reset where I can bait out a projectile and teleport and punish my opponent from there. That's because that's the way I like to play. I also really enjoy using Cyrax and Sector and Darius. There are so many good cameos. That would be like the last thing I worry about, honestly, is like a lot of people like come into the game and start trying to use cameos off the get go. And it's just a lot of things to worry about and stress you out, especially in the beginning. Really master your character, master your combos and say, okay, I can do this by myself. That's fun. And then of course, start to implement your cameos as you go along and that'll really level up your gameplay. Once you do that, you're gonna see how all of these things, all of these tips kind of weave together to give you that awesome foundation to build off of and just go from there. You can't go into a game like Mortal Kombat and just start pressing buttons and hopefully things hit. Or I'll try to grab, try to throw stuff out. You just can't do it. It's really fast paced, but if you take it one step at a time, you're gonna start to see, okay, I'm gonna raid my opponent here. Oh, they whiffed, I'm gonna grab. If they're blocking low a lot, I'm gonna go for the overhead attack. 
back, you'll start to see these things and build your skills as you keep practicing and keep playing. Let me know if this guide helped you down below. How far are you on your fighting game journey? Let me know down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.